Wow, so this is the 45th, 46th time that I'm talking to you? Kind of losing count. <laughs> but it's been a long while, and I talk a good game, but sometimes I make mistakes. A lot of mistakes. And if I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it. But sometimes what's worse than being wrong is being right. Dear viewers, I did it. I said I would do it, and I did it. My name is Lizzie Bennett, and today I found out the truth about Darcy. We have a special guest today. And no, it's not Darcy. You don't want to meet him, trust me. Not after you hear this. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is how it started. Um, this works best if you actually sit down. No! I have never been in your room before, so attention must be paid. I gotta make sure you don't have any red flags, like books on serial killers, or anything shady, or with shades. Seriously, George, you're giving the internet a show. Oh, is the camera on? Sorry about that, internet. Sit! Yes, ma'am. Internet, this is George Wickham. George, this is the internet. Oh, we've already been acquainted. Oh, no. You watch the other videos already? I Oh god, just tell me I didn't say anything too embarrassing. A gentleman would never tell. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. It was sweet, even. I knew there was a reason I like coming to this town for swim meets. Everybody's just so friendly. Well, not everybody. You mean Darcy? I do not trust myself on that subject. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just... Uh... I saw the look between you two at Carter's, and I didn't even know you knew each other. Yeah, we grew up together. Really? Okay, not prying, but, um, what happened? Ah, I, I, it's not that I don't want to tell you. I just, I don't want to sully any names. You are a disturbingly good person, but, uh, I guess I understand. Although... The story could be told hypothetically. I like the way you think. Ready? Yeah. Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two little boys who grew up together. One was called Darvid. Darvid. And the other was called... Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel? Oh, no. The Rock. Oh, Batman. Batman is always serious. Okay. Um, so Batman and Darvid did all the things little boys do. They built forts, had mud fights, ate bugs. Hmm? I don't have any brothers. You tell the story. Darvid's father loved Batman so much that he promised to give him... Um, so, uh, Darvid's father promised Batman that when Batman grew up, he could go to study at a faraway castle. No, Batman doesn't want a castle. He wants a cave. Okay, um, so this cave was very distinguished, and everyone who went there was sure to earn millions of dollars in their lifetime. It was an awesome cave. And what did Darvid say when it was time for Batman to go to the cave and he asked for the money? No. No? But why would Darvid deny Batman his cave studying dreams? Because he said that Batman didn't deserve to go to the cave. That's right. Even though Batman and Darvid were lifelong friends, Darvid broke his father's promise and wouldn't let him go study at the cave. So what did we learn from this story? <laughs> that you're kind of crazy. And I like it. And never trust anyone named Darvid. I can't believe that happened to you. No. And you've never been able to go... Hi, Lizzie. I heard... Oh, hi. Lydia, hi. we're in the middle of something serious. You're the swimmer, right? <laughs> what? Oh! <sighs> my favorite shirt! Lydia, Damn it! Lydia, oh my god! I I'm, I'm gonna get you a towel. I am so sorry. You know, I can't be very comfortable in a wet shirt. You should probably take that off. Yeah. Whew. But that's 
much better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peach. <laughs> Let me help you with that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.